Hi, it's Stephen. And I just want to say very quickly, I want to thank everybody who's been writing really nice comments about my videos on uh, YouTube. Thank you very much. It inspires me to make more. And I really do like making these. And just as a matter of fact, when it comes to editing these kind of things, I don't do any editing. And you can probably tell. I do these all in one take. So I'm sorry if I stumble over my words at times and put in a lot of aham, uh aham, -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, that kind of thing in it. But Ah, I can't be bothered doing the editing for it. Um, this is meant just to show and tell and and that's it. So this little album. This little album took me about an hour to make. You know how much scrap paper you have left over, a lot of pattern stuff, but you never get around to using it all up. And I thought, you know, I wonder what I can do with it. So I did a search on YouTube and lo and behold, here's what people were doing with it. They're creating an album using scrap pieces. Now, the thing is about this album, is nothing really matches up inside, although it does look like it uh, does, just, I guess, just the luck of the draw when picking out pieces. Um, and, but they're all irregular sizes. Um, I kept them within this size, which is about uh, six by four, five, something like that. And, well, I'll show you what I mean. This is also stitched together. That's why there's a little bow here, and I'll explain that in a moment. So, I used the hairband technique for fastening it down because you can see it's rather fat so I just put a big brad in here and wrap that around and then you're going to see inside irregular pages I just took whatever came up as scrap paper out of my pile and just cut it down and it's all sewed together and dropped in pockets wherever uh, these little pieces that are here again come from a journaling pads that you can buy at Michael's, uh, the smash pad kind of thing. I wasn't worried about trying to create anything new and original. I was just throwing this together. Um, the tags that are in here are ones that I'd already had made at some point and I had thrown in a drawer. I have a drawer called tags so sometimes when I experiment with a new technique on a tag it looks half decent but I really don't have any place for it. I just throw it in the drawer and here I just throw it in here. Um, so you can see the whole idea here. Here's a little shorter pocket. And uh, it's just two pieces glued together. Cut one a little shorter. Um, I embellished it a little bit. This is another one of those stamps, an embossed stamp or, uh, tag that I used. Uh, in here I used, uh, I had this rubber stamp that did this tape measure. I thought it would fill in the white space there pretty nicely. Um, like I said, I just went with my gut reaction to this. I didn't really plan anything out. Um, you can see some of this paper already has a nice pattern in the background, so it was nothing to do except just stick a piece of journaling on top of it. I used some washi tape down there. Um, again, some of those inserts. This is a side pocket tag. I found a thing that said reminder. Used one of my journaling stamps, both sides, so something you could write on. I mean, this, this kind of little booklet, I've heard people say that they use it not necessarily for uh, an album. They use it sometimes to put into their purse or their pocket or whatever, and they write their shopping lists or whatever in it and stick it all together. Um, I could see something like this being used for when you go shopping for new supplies. You know, if you keep a running list of what you already own and what you're out of, and you just tuck this away. It's a nice size, really. It would fit in a lady's purse. It would, uh, I carry it around with me without any problem. I do have another book that I use for listing things in, but uh, I've had it for a while, but it wasn't like this, but I could see using this for that. Um, so, other places for stick things. In some cases, I didn't even bother sticking a little note on it. I just rubber stamped my journaling lines right on top of the page, more washi tape. And again, throughout, some more tags that were laying around. They were experimentals. I had some of these little blank plates uh, that I had in my embellishment drawer, stuck them on. Oh, and here, notice I talked about this white space on this pocket in the few pages back, and I had used a rubber stamp. Well, here where I used my label maker, and I just kept printing the word out stuff, 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 and just put it right across. Again, didn't put a lot of thought into it. Just wait to see what happened. Now, I'm in the middle section of this right now, so I want to stop for a minute and tell you this is sewn together. All of these are double are this length, the papers. The heights vary, but the length is the same. Or I guess that's the width. The height stays the same. No, let me get this right. Now I'm all confused. All right, this way, I guess we would call this the width, is the same. 
but the height b varies depending on how much paper I had, with the exception of the base pages are all the same, so that it's squared off. Um, might be kind of neat, though, if these, these were different heights as well. That's something for another time to think about and try. And I just punched three holes through the spine with an awe. You could do it with a paper piercer or whatever, this kind of little thing here. Um, and just use some waxed twine. Uh, it doesn't even have to be waxed. This one happened to be waxed. And feed it through the holes, bring it out, tie it in a bow, and that holds the whole thing together. You want to use a fairly uh, strong twine, of course, uh, for this, because there's going to be a lot of uh, pull on it. And over the page, just some more things, same ideas. Here I put a vertical little header on the piece for the pocket. To-dos. This paper already came with this design on it, this scrap, kind of like that. So I just added some journaling blocks. Another tag that I created, some washi tape across the top there. And the back cover of it. And then I put another brad in here and tied it all down. Now if you want to get fancy, I, I, you can see the, what do you call it, the bars, the hooks from the brad all the way through here. If you want to get fancy, you could put eyelets in here. Um, you could cover this up with some paper over the top of it background, but I didn't really care because this is really kind of a, a junk album made with scrap paper. So it's whatever I could get done in about an hour. That's all that it took was just really one hour. And I think it kind of turned out kind of neat and I think it's useful as well. Okay, so give it a shot.